Oh, when I was a teenager, I, my dad was a contractor and he did a lot of remodeling and I broke in breaking out walls and knocking off porches and doing all the real uh, tough labor, dirty work. I guess we all kind of grew up being builders um, in, in that we worked on homes that uh, my father was working on. I'm young enough, I worked on homes my older brothers were working on more than my father. I was in the sixth grade and the uh, event that had just happened was, of course, the landing of the, on the moon. And uh, the Deseret News came out and did some interviews with sixth graders, and, and uh, I happened to be selected as one of those that they interviewed. And as the interview was going on, they asked me what I planned on doing in the future. And I told them, well, I planned on building homes. I remember graduating from the cleanup and working the dump truck that uh, was a great dump truck. We had. Uh, it didn't have one windshield wiper, it had a glove on the, on the windshield wiper. We used to like to wave to people as we drive by them. It was a, such an old rickety old dump truck that we were hauling around, me and my buddy, and you know, hauling clean up trash from go to the dump. And it, it did have a hydraulic lift on it, but it was broken. We had to get under the truck and lay down in the dump and hammer the, the lever back to make the truck dump. When they turned 16, I was sure we had an old pickup truck, a real old one, that they could drive to school and then go to work after. They, Learned that, and I learned early on that I paid them by the job, not by the hour. We started out as a cleanup crew, basically sweeping houses and uh, water settling foundations, very remedial tasks, things that we uh, that didn't take a lot of skill. I uh, graduated into uh, uh, doing some carpentry work, some roofing, quite a lot of roofing, uh, concrete work, and uh, eventually uh, helping manage the, the building. Uh, the building of the homes. My responsibility in the company is to ensure that every home is built according to what we have represented and what the people have desired to have and what their expectations are. We have a uh, very detailed pre-construction meeting where uh, the plans are rolled out and we go through trade by trade really in the whole process of building where people then understand uh, and it gives us a chance to make sure that what they're thinking is what we're thinking and that we're going to, to be able to deliver the, the kind of home that they're expecting and, and it really the, the, the devil's in the details always you can't be too broad in scope you have to get right down to things like the finished carpentry details the shelving details the uh, how, how those are going to work and how they're going to look when the home is done uh, we even get into details such as uh, what side of the kitchen sink is the disposal going to be on did you want it on the left side or the right side and things that sometimes get overlooked that we, we want to bring up and make sure that the customer is very clear on where how the house is going to be built and what it's going to look like when it's done. We give people the same process whether they're building a $190,000 home or an $800,000 home.